Henry's law constant for carbon dioxide in water is 1.67 into 10 raised to 8 Pascal at 298 Kelvin. Calculate the quantity of CO2 in 500 ml of soda water when packed under 2.5 atm CO2 pressure at 298 Kelvin. In this question, which are the given values? See, Henry's law constant is given 1.67 into 10 raised to 8. You can see volume of water is given 500 ml and pressure of CO2 is also given 2.5 atm. See, kH is given in Pascal, right? So, pressure must be also in Pascal. So, you have to multiply the atm value with what? 101. 3, 2, 5 for converting it to Pascal. So we got pressure in Pascal. KH is in already in Pascal, right? Now volume of water is given that is 500 ml. These are the given values. How to deal with this question? As they give Henry's law constant, we can start with Henry's law. What is Henry's law? Pressure of the dissolved gas is equal to Henry's constant into mole fraction. Correct? Okay, so what is the equation for mole fraction? It is pressure divided by Henry's law constant, right? Now we know pressure, right? What is that? 2.5 into 101325. And what is KH value? 1.67 into 10 raised to 8. On calculating, you will be getting like 1.5. 1, 7 into 10 raised to minus 3. Now, we have to use the basic equation of mole fraction. Mole fraction of a particular component is equal to what? Number of moles of that component by total number of moles of all components, right? Here, which are the components? H2O and carbon dioxide. Okay. Now, see, now we are going to do a neglecting step. So, see, comparing to the number of moles of H2O solvent, the number of moles of solute will be very less for most of the solution. Okay, see, this step is not a compulsory step, but this step will definitely help you to simplify, to make your calculation easy. Okay, so what it become what? CO2, mole fraction of CO2 become number of moles of CO2 by number of moles of H2O. We are ignoring the number of moles of CO2 in the denominator. Okay, so we got a simplified equation. See, now what you are supposed to find? Quantity of carbon dioxide, mass of carbon dioxide, right? So if you can find the number of moles of carbon dioxide, then you can find mass. How? See, number of moles is equal to mass by molar mass. If you know number of moles, you can find mass. So, our next task is finding the number of moles of CO2. We can put this equation as equation number 1. Okay. Now, check water. See, what is the volume of water? It is 500 ml, right? Now, we know density of water is what? 1 gram per milliliter. So, you can find the mass of water, right? What would what be that? Volume into density. So, what do you get? 500 gram, correct? So, you got the mass of water. Now, you can find the number of moles of water. How? We know the equation. Mass by molar mass. Mass of water by molar mass of water, right? What is that? 500 mass of water. Now, molar mass of water is what? See, water means H2O. So, 2 hydrogen is there. So, 1 into 2 plus 1 oxygen is there. 16. Correct, right? So, we are getting 500 by 18. So, what you are getting on calculating, you will be getting like 27.78. Okay. Now, you check. We know mole fraction of carbon dioxide, right? What is that? This value, right? We know number of moles of H2O. So, what you can find? You can find number of moles of CO2. If you know these two values, you can find number of moles of CO2. If you know number of moles of CO2, you can find mass. Okay. Now, we can find the number of moles of CO2, right? 
what will be the equation it will be mole fraction of co2 into number of moles of h2o substitute the values 1.517 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 27.78 on calculating you will be getting like 42.14 into 10 raised to minus 3 we know number of moles is what mass by molar mass and our aim is to find what mass of co2 quantity of co2 right so what is the equation for mass equation of mass will be number of moles of co2 into molar mass see what is the number of moles of co2 we already find it 42.14 into 10 raised to minus 3 and molar mass of carbon dioxide is what carbon 12 oxygen is 16 how many oxygen 2 oxygen calculating we will be getting 44 right okay into 44 and what is the final answer on calculating you will be getting 1.854 gram and this is our final answer